Now, let's say we want to make an alkene, but we don't have an alcohol. Well, we could make the alcohol. It's feasible. We just add water, we can substitute. Or another thought we can do more directly is use a large, strong base. Now, the two large emphases here, a large and strong. So when we're talking about bases that are appropriate for this, we have tert-butoxide or isopropoxide. Either of these will work, but we need these big carbon chains hanging on the back of our O- group because we don't want to do a substitution reaction. If this were hydroxide, it'll just replace the Cl and we'll get an alcohol back in its place. So we're going to work with tert-butoxide. Tert-butoxide is such a strong base that we can't do this in water. We're going to do this in ether or some type of organic solvent like toluene that won't react. But anyway, what we're going to do with this is we're going to replace tertiary and secondary halogens. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow Zaitsev's rule. So we're going to form a double bond, but we're going to form a double bond from where this chloride is to the nearest carbon with the most substitutions or the least number of hydrogens. So if we're going to run this reaction, we're not going to form the double bond between this carbon and this carbon. It's going to be the either of these two. Now, other issue with this is we're also going to form a carbocation as an intermediate. Because we are forming a carbocation as an intermediate, we also can see is rearrangement as well. So again, we need to stick to the secondary and tertiary chlorides. If you try to do this with a primary, you're going to get rearrangement. What are we going to finish with? Well, once we do our abstraction, we're going to finish with this, whatever the protonated form of this base was. So in this case, terbutanol and your chloride ion. So this is called dehydrohalogenation. We are removing a hydrogen, we're removing a halogen. So we have the D for removal, hydro for the hydrogen, halogenation, yeah, the uh, halogen. And this is how we form a double bond, starting with a secondary or tertiary halogen.